Thank you for tuning in to Truck and Tuesday. Here we have another truck and transporter type release. The package is called UFO Squad. I don't know if this truck design has had another release or not. I know people are going to like that car right there. Mm, copyright on the package, I think, was 2012. We might as well look right now since I forgot. 2011, so it was probably a 2012 release. Now that you got a close up, mm, I think he looks familiar. Pretty cool, it's got a cage. Area 51, captured, it says 51. Pretty nice, UFO squad, if I didn't see the name. UFO capture squad. Nice that it has graphics. By the way, this model right here, Octanium. Only in these colors with this package. So if you want that Octanium, you're gonna have to hunt down this uh, truck two pack. Mm, it might've been called truck and transporters back there. Back then, you can see a UFO squad right there. Now, there's another cage. It says stealth surveillance, but uh, a cage truck. It's a different type of cage. Mm, I don't know if it's been other colors or not. Don't remember off the top of my head. Hey, there's a Bumblebee's Buzz Buzz Bomb. I knew I'd get there eventually. That's a nice open bed for a truck. Roll patrol with a helicopter. And that car right there, it's a little hard to see. Might be Monoposto over here, Muscle Mania. Hey, Fast Fish, that one's easy to recognize. Here's the site that was visible in the package. Let's see, you got an alien, it says Capture 51. Let's take a look at the other side. Yep, same thing, just reversed graphics. Here we have an alien head in 51. 51 up here as well, UFO. Hot Wheels logo, Hot Wheels logo was on the back right here. Let's see what it has here. Yep, Hot Wheels logo, 51. Yeah, it's, oh. yeah, it's the same. I checked the base. No name on the base for this type of truck. I like the big, thick wheels. Pretty cool. It's like they're a Dooley's, double wide. I don't know if they took two and it has to be. They're together. They molded it into one piece, but uh, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe they could have glued together. I, I'm not sure. But uh, as far as the rolling test let's do a little roll i'll be quiet a little bit of squeak i gotta move i gotta move further out on the outside ring otherwise it's starting to spin on the inside let's try it again hey you're drifting not too bad for the squeaky test on the back it did show that the container opens up and it has a ramp let's go ahead and drop the ramp Open the truck. There you go. Right. I hope they have more colors of this. This is pretty nicely built. I, I like the thickness of the plastic. Nice and sturdy. And you like how this popped up? It stays up like that. Let's see the ramp. There's been other trucks, right, to where this is too steep and the, the cars bottom out or they hit it when they try to drive in. Let's try that. There's the hole that it pops in right here. You see the notch goes right there. Well, it's not bad, actually. It's better than other... Oh, wait a second. There's going to be that little spot right there. Hey, it worked out pretty good. Hey, I need a ride. Can you give me a ride? Hey, let me out. Wait a second. Here's a look at the base. There's the name Octanium. By the way, back then, I don't know if they... I don't know if any cars still have this. You see the track loop symbol? Yeah, this is supposed to be a track compatible car. That's why they were putting that track lips loop symbol. That's not a circle flame logo. It's a loop, it's a track loop. Let's take a closer look. Hey, there's that uh, alien that they showed on the side of the, the truck, again, with the 51 decorations. Ooh, shiny. I bet you you know about another, hey, who's that? I bet you know about another silver octanium. Yeah? I bet you do. Here's a link to Octanium's video on the Track Time channel. You can check it out if you'd like. It was another car that was in the original release of the Super 6 Lane Raceway. Thank you for watching and have fun with your toys. Bye bye.